From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Progress is being made on the maintenance and repair of the Lesotho Highlands water tunnel, which was shut down in October to undertake the critical work that will ensure the infrastructure's longevity. Natasha Urdendahl was on site. Since the total shutdown on October 1st for six months, the tunnel, which transfers a contracted 780 million cubic meters of water a year into South Africa, has been emptied of water and general inspections have been conducted. These essential activities, which reveal that the tunnel is still in a good condition, were required before repair work started on November 1st. Every five years, we'll have to do major maintenance so that at least we can keep the asset in a good condition. Remember this asset is of 1998. Then the first one, which was a minor a conditional a, 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 Maintenance was done in 2003. The other one took a little bit longer in 2012. And then from 2012 to 2019, a little bit longer. Currently, we're doing it for the fourth time. And you could see that if you go inside the tunnel, you could see from a structural engineering, without even putting electrodes there to check, you could see the condition is good. There's not a lot of uh, cracks that you can see, but I'm not dependent on my eye yeah. on that. We have uh, the leader system. What we do as well is we're flying over the, this portion of, uh, because this is concrete. Yes. Uh, the leader system is we're taking infrared uh, scanning. We are doing infrared scanning. What it does is if you have a, a pipe network that is uh, concrete based, as you now do your infrared scanning, you will actually pick up whether there are cracks and you will see that with a different color because water would be seeping out. So part of what we're doing is, yes, we've cleaned, we've done this part now, we're doing virtual inspection, but you also now need to do other inspections. Yeah. The, 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 the core part of what we need to do is areas where you now need, especially where you have river crossings and all, and all that, it's not as easy as this one, because there we now need to line up uh, the pipe now with, with steel. And I think that's the one, that's the part that is uh, going to take us a bit more time than finishing earlier. The work now underway includes various technical, civil, mechanical and electrical engineering work, as well as sandblasting, the recoating of the steel lining of the tunnel and removing corrosion that has built up over many years. The work is split between South Africa's trans caledonia Tunnel Authority and the Lesotho Highlands Development Agency. The outage itself is really starting from where the Gatha Dam is all the way up to up to the Ash River itself. So that's basically the total scope of the shutdown. Because the split of our responsibility between ourselves and, and, and um, LHDA, LHDA will handle this part up to the tunnel delivery south and then TCTA is responsible for this 22 kilometer section including the Ash River which is approximately 26 kilometer. The first critical activity on both sides was to dewater the tunnel. That then enabled us to gain access into the tunnel so that we can do two things. One, the cleaning of the tunnel was a critical activity and also the inspections you know, by, the, by the subject matter experts. So, so all those inspections were actually done and completed in the, in the month of, um, of October. So on both sides, basically, we are now busy with the real work, which is the sand blasting, which will then be followed by the recoating of the liners. We can give assurance to the D, to the DMs, to the mayor as well, that the project is on track. And we are working towards making sure that all the activities will be completed as planned. Private aviation services provider Vistajet has added the 18th Bombardier Global 7500 Ultra Long Range Business Jet to its fleet of 240 aircraft. Skulk Berger has the story. Vistajet unveiled the new jet to partner and media representatives at the Fireblade Aviation Terminal in Gauteng in South Africa because of the role Africa plays in its growth, which has prompted it to continue to invest in the region. Vistajet Europe and Africa President Felipe Scalabrini speaks about the growth the company has experienced. 2024, we've seen a growth of 14% in the first half of the year as compared to the first half of 2023. So very, again, very, very nice growth coming from, from this year. And that's especially important in a contracting market. So we've seen global demand for business aviation come down at about 2%. Africa is also a big part of this, uh, of this growth story. We've seen incredible growth 
in 2024 uh, as well on the continent. We've seen 103% growth in the, uh, in number of hours flown across the continent and 30%, more or less 30% growth in program customer, new program customers that have joined the, uh, the, our membership programs. The Global 7500 can travel for 17 hours of flight time, has a range of 7,700 nautical miles, or 14,260 kilometers, and a top speed of Mach 0.925, or 1,142 kilometers per hour. Vistajet has about 20 aircraft dedicated to the region, including three Bombardier Challenger 605 private jets for regional trips, while the Global 7500 provides long distance capability. It sees potential demand for a further 10 to 20 aircraft owing to the large need in the region and it would commit additional aircraft to the region as they were required. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next time for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. Also, don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.